just thought I'd do a quick rundown on the bike while I'm here. Yeah, it's my specialized Diverge Comp Carbon. I've got three bottle cages on. I've got two of these cheap Halfords ones. Because you can bend them and make them really secure then. So that's why I chose those. And they're not that heavy. There's not a lot in it really. So I've just got a cheap carbon one, which I got free with my race bike years ago. On there, that's on the swap box, which has got one tube, CO2s, a multi-tool, um, chain breaker, um, Dyna plug with an extra set of plugs and then my pump. And we've got this just cheap Amazon frame bag. And then this side, I've got my coat and my head torch. That's going to be my lighting if I need it. Um, there it is, head torch in there. Um, I can also fit an extra bottle in there, so I can fit a 550ml bottle in there. Because with this on, I can only fit a 550ml bottle in here. So I'll have one on one. And then I have a, I've got a Camelback, one with a secure lid. Uh, with a protected lid on it um, so it doesn't get crap on it. Although the one I rode on Swords Plane the other day, a massive stone did flick up and, uh, and knocked it off actually. I had to stuff and go back for it. Um, not because it wasn't secure, but just because it, it absolutely whacked it. It was a massive stone, so I have to keep my eyes open for that. I'm, I'm convinced it's not going to rattle out though, so that's good. Then I've got this old top tube bag, which I've had for years on my race bike. I used to put gels and that in, which I'll probably put all my rice be squares in tomorrow. I have got a handlebar bag which goes here, which is in the car, which is going to have my jelly babies in it for easy access. My Apogee bolt on racing one. It's got a spare battery pack. I know that's a bit of extra weight, but if there is an emergency, I can charge my phone, which will then, I can also charge my head torch if I need that for longer, if there's an emergency. If my Garmin goes flat, which it shouldn't do, because I'm going to crank the brightness to zero and uh, set it to time off quite quickly. Got extra power for that, but it's also running power to my Hero 8 GoPro, which is mounted on one of those tiny Garmin mounts. I've bought one of those Ulanzi doors with a hole in it, so I can run the run the door all the time. I have to remember to clean that lens tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so you've got the you've got the USB plugged in all the time. Obviously, it's not waterproof, so if I go through the stream tomorrow, I need to make sure I don't drop the bike. <laughs> Obviously, got GRX 810 all the way through, mechanical. I did ask them if they could build it up in DIT for my once in a lifetime bike, but they just couldn't get the parts in time. So we'll run this until it wears out and then probably in a couple of years we'll upgrade. But, but actually it's really good as it is. The brakes are really good too. Um, Specialized Pathfinder Pro, uh, 738s. I would have loved the 42s, but I'm not spending money on replacing perfectly good tires. So. If I'd asked them, they may have built it up with them on for me, but I forgot to ask, so too late now. I think they'll be fine. It should be okay. And that's about it. Oh, I've got my lizard skins on here because my right foot is slightly bent. <laughs> it sticks out slightly. So my heel always rubs through the chainstay, so I always have a lizard skins or bar tape on there to stop my heel rubbing. Got another spare tube here. And then I've got these button lights, uh, front and back, the lazy ones, I think just as like be seen lights and then my, my lights to see with is the, is the head torch. That is my setup. I'm going to drink to the thirst and see how we go and if I need to stop I will. I'm not, you know, I don't mind if I have to stop but ideally I'd like to ride all the way through. I've got this thing in my head I like to do events without clipping out so that's always my goal. <laughs> yeah, let's go back to the expo and get some food now so we will catch you later. Yeah.